Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo and joining me right now is none other than the AEW Women's World Champion, Hikaru Shida in person. Here we go, let's do this. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. Finally we met! I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, Shida, I guess I'll start off by telling you that the interview that you took the time to do with me, uh, everyone loved just hearing your story and I want to tell you everyone was so proud of your English too. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you got the... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I just said I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens too sometimes when you're like when you're like uh, when you're bilingual you start to think yeah. in one language and then you switch to the other yes and sometimes I talk I talk to Japanese in English like a, oh, oh sorry <laughs> yeah it's crazy yeah well, we're here. It's officially happening. So you and I spoke a couple weeks ago and we were, you know, on the precipice of coming to London. But that's it. You've done the flight. You've crossed the Atlantic. You're here <laughs> in London. Uh, first of all, now that you're here, what's the feeling? Yeah, actually, I just arrived one year ago. Oh, no, one, one hour ago. So just arrived and OK, change makeups and here. So. I'm, <laughs> yeah, just one hour. So I don't get it's real or not yet. But yeah, I planning after this, I'm planning to go Sherlock Holmes Museum. And <laughs> yeah, just feel I'm here. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So first of all, I can't believe that you got off a flight an hour ago yes. and look at you. You're like alive. You've done a million <laughs> interviews already. You look so great. I love what you're wearing. The makeup's here. Like nobody looks like this an hour after a flight. <laughs> yeah. But my, my brain's still kind of dizzy. So yeah. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm talking yeah, during token <laughs> sorry so you know on your flight uh you know tell us about like how do you spend that time because obviously it was like at least like nine hours or so to get oh, here yeah, yeah. so what was your time spent like on the flight yeah i'm i'm kind of pro because to japan is is like a 12 hours so actually i did sleep whole flight <laughs> Yeah, with eye masks and <laughs> neck pillows. And <laughs> you really are a pro then. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah. And I, I can sleep anywhere. Like a, in an MRI machine. I can sleep anywhere, so yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, you're awesome. Okay, so uh, so we're here, we're in London. You're going to go to the Sherlock Holmes Museum. I know you mentioned that you were very excited also because you're a big Harry Potter fan. So do you have anything scheduled yet like Harry Potter related? If I have a time after Sherlock Holmes Museum, I'm going to go uh, King's Cross Station. Yeah, like actually 30, 13 years ago when I first time here, I... I went to King's Cross Station too, but I feel I need to go again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's so cool. Okay, so, uh, you know, we're, again, we're a couple days away now from this match officially happening, from the event finally happening at All In. And so one of the things I wanted to ask you about was your preparation before a match. Like, what does your preparation look like, especially heading into a big match like this? Uh... Population. <laughs> so, like, what what you do? It's okay. But like, what you do before a match? Like, oh, okay. your routine. Your routine. There you go. Your routine. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, uh, usually I never think like about going sightseeing or I. Usually, I just want want to concentrate a match, and usually I stay hotel and. But this time, I feel so different, and I think I'm so, yeah, I think I'm so ready, and I think I'm ready to enjoy everything, so I feel so different this time. But 
yeah, tomorrow I'm going to go to the stadium and usually I walk around the venue and I check how, how fans can see the ring on the on the every seat like a huge okay fast low how how the ring looks and from the top how the ring look i always i walk around the venue and i check that so yeah tomorrow i i'm going to do that and yeah more yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's crazy because I'm listening to you here to you say that you kind of walk around the venue and that you look at every angle and that's something that I never thought about. Really? So hearing you say that like that's part of the routine. I think that's pretty interesting because then you kind of know how, you know, basically your your whole entire surroundings and how you decide to do what you do and what the people see. Yeah, because we wrestler only know how how we can see venue from the rings so but it's so different i know so different from the chairs so yeah i always do that and and same time i imagine imagine i wrestle in the ring yeah so that's so helpful like a yeah sometimes especially big venue when I come out to the stage and sometimes I felt like a uh, fear like a, if it's bigger more than expected like a yeah the lighting is too strong so I, I, I really don't like it so I always check everything and yeah that's so helpful and yeah actually I sit on the chair and yeah <laughs> and what yeah that's so yeah I, I need it yeah so you know talk to us about the entrance because uh, you come out here you always look you look so great by the way I wish everyone could see like the full look because it's it's amazing but uh, what can we expect like from the actual entrance uh, what do you have plans I know you won't want to give too much away but what can we expect <laughs> Yeah, actually, two days ago, I talked with Claudio and just realized, oh, my God, the ramp is so long. I, The walking to the ring is, is kind of long. I need something special. And I started to sew the entrance gear and just finished yesterday. So <laughs> it was crazy, but I... I have a little surprise, so I hope it goes well. <laughs> oh my God, so what we're gonna get is entirely your vision then. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is so cool. I can't believe that. I think that's gonna be, that's gonna feel even more special to know that you yourself created what you're gonna wear out there to the <laughs> ring. <Yeah. laughs> Oh my God, that's so awesome. All right, and my last question for you is, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about your post-match routine. I mean, your, your uh, pre-match routine. routine. Uh, what do you, how do you usually spend your nights afterwards, after your matches? Like, what's, what's your way of, like, relaxing? Do you watch <laughs> your matches back? Uh, you know, how do you relax afterwards? Uh, before the match, I, <clears throat> before the match, I can't eat at all. Like a, yeah, so after match, I first I um, get my food and <laughs> eat like a <laughs> so much, and I, I can't sleep after match, so. <laughs> Too much adrenaline. Yes, that's right, that's right. It does, that feels crazy. I'm so tired, but still, I'm like a. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, usually I watch the. YouTube and eat whole night. <laughs> Is there anything specific that you watch on YouTube, by the way? Um, yeah, these days I'm <laughs> I'm watching uh, ASMR. Oh, yeah, those are very popular. Yes, yes, they're a lot and. Yeah, I have the eye mask with the 
uh, like a kind of head on. So put it and listen ASMR and try to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I have to sleep. I have to sleep. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so funny. I love that because I've had heard that people use ASMR a whole lot. So uh, actually hearing you say it, how it helps you, like that makes a whole lot of sense. Oh my god, that's so cool. Well, Ashida, I know you still have so many more interviews to do. It's a busy day. You're the champ. You're doing your interviews. I want to thank you so much for taking the time once again to chat with me here today. Uh, really always enjoy getting to chat with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. We'll catch you on the next one.